Hey, what's up everybody? Omega Primus here, and what you're looking at right now is the uh, assembly part of my review video for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Assault Van that I already uploaded on my channel, uh, so you guys could check out that review if you want. And uh, this assembly video was originally over an hour and ten minutes long. Um, the only reason why it took me that long is because I was taking my sweet little precious time applying those stickers on the van because uh, I did not really want to screw up and... Um, Plus, one of the parts I had to assemble in the back of the van was giving me a lot of trouble, so I had to mess with, I had to mess around with that for a long time, and uh, I'm glad that I have a decent editing program to condense everything down to a shorter time because I'm pretty sure none of you want to watch me put together a Ninja Turtle van for over an hour long. <laughs> so uh, the movie is coming out in another two weeks. Uh, next week, I will be going to see Guardians of the Galaxy and. Uh, I might do a re review for that movie. It might be a spoiler-filled review. And uh, the week after that is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, I was very skeptical about the new live-action movie because Michael Bay has involvement with it. And um, even though I know he's not directing it, he's producing it, but still. And they also made some changes to some things that I don't really like. <laughs> uh, for example, like the look of the new foot soldiers, even though... In one of the TV spots, they did show actual ninjas, so I don't know if we're going to get ninjas some point during the movie. Uh, I don't quite like the look of Shredder's armor. I don't know, it's, it's too much, it's overkill. Uh, hopefully that will be explained in the movie. And I'm still not too fond of Megan Fox playing April O'Neil. Now, I'm not a Megan Fox hater, I'm not, you know, I, I don't really hate her, it's just that I don't quite see her as April O'Neil. Uh, kind of like how I don't see Gal Gadot or Gal Gadot, however you pronounce her last name. The woman who's playing uh, Wonder Woman in the upcoming Batman vs. Superman movie. An image got released today of her in the Wonder Woman costume and uh, I'm sorry, I, I just don't see it. I'm sorry if I'm being too judgmental of her, but she looks kind of skinny in that Wonder Woman outfit. I was expecting a little bit more muscles and um, I think they should have chose somebody else for the casting choice, like uh, Gina Carano, for example. She's, uh, I think she's like a MMA fighter or something like that, and she, she, she's very built. She, she looks very, very uh, <laughs> muscular, and uh, it, she looks like she would be good as Wonder Woman. Um, but yeah. Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, I I'm sorry, she looks too skinny. It just seems like the director was going more for beauty over bronze. Um, as for the costume itself, it looks decent enough for, you know, a live-action movie. It looks like something Wonder Woman would wear in the comic books. However, I would prefer a little bit more color on the costume. Uh, it looks mostly brown. It has like a brownish type of color to it. But it looks okay. I mean, it does look like a Wonder Woman costume. A uh, very slim Wonder Woman costume for a very slim woman. But anyways, don't know why I'm talking about Wonder Woman. I should be talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, yeah, hopefully it'll do good in the box office. Uh, I, I'm not expecting it to do spectacular in the box office. I know it's going to at least get the number three or the number two spot. Like, I know Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be in the number one spot for at least the next three weeks. Uh, as for Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, that might stay in the number two spot, or it might move down to number three, depending if Ninja Turtles could top that movie. I don't know, I don't know, because I know a lot of people are mostly looking forward to Guardians of the Galaxy more than uh, Ninja Turtles. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, hopefully it'll do decent enough in the box office, and... Um, I'm almost done assembling everything here in this assembly video. There's I'm putting on the satellite and the missile launcher. Oh, which reminds me, I might do a overview video for this van, showing off some stuff I forgot to mention, something that has to do with that missile launcher. All right, so um, I guess that's all I have to say, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, whenever that may be. <laughs> all right, peace, and enjoy the movie if you're going to watch it. All right, later.